Hello and welcome to Human Computer Interfaces. What we're going to do in HCI is we're going to build interfaces, but I need a place that you can build these interfaces. You're actually going to build interfaces. So, um, without having to create your own website and build our interfaces with HTML and CSS, which is the way that we're going to build our interfaces, we're going to use, we've got a number of different programs we can use, but I'm going to demonstrate to you one today that's very easy to use and free, CSS Deck. CSS Deck is an online um, tool that allows you to essentially take HTML and CSS and even JavaScript and see the application that goes with that. Now, if you've known my videos, you know that I love to use JS Fiddle. For JavaScript, that is definitely the way I go. But for just pure HTML and CSS, CSS is beautiful. Um, so, here's how it works. I'm in CSS Deck. I have created my own. I have an account. And when I have an account, I have the ability to make a new CSS Deck, um, um, what they call them. Um, they're, you know, they're different types of projects. Well, here we go. So now, as I'm starting here, is a little bit of information. I'm going to get rid of the little ad that I don't need to have. So I'm going to stop seeing the ad. Um, okay, now, let's, uh, because I'm using the free, and more than likely, you're going to use the free also. So first, I need a name for this, and this is going to be C E N 37 2022 demo. Now, you are going to have to do CSS and HTML in this class. So therefore, we need to learn how to do that. There are a thousand examples of CSS and there's a thousand examples of HTML. You should be able to figure a lot of this out, but I'm going to show you some of the things to just get you started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a CSS class. These are called classes and you'll see why. So I'm going to call the class uh, box left and um, that defines it. And now I need to put some CSS styling in here. So I'm going to float this to the left, which means that it's going to float on the left side of the screen. Um, I'm going to set a width of uh, 300. That's kind of a good size of a, of a phone interface. Um, a height of 500. And that I can also, I can easily, um, on these different heights and widths, I can, of course, it's not that hard for me to come in here and change these. I do want it to have rounded borders, so I'm going to create a border radius of about uh, 10 pixels should be enough to do that. And I want to be able to see it as a different color, so I'm going to make the background color um, light green will look nice for right now. All right, so now I've got this class. I can now go up into my HTML and I can create a div where I want to actually have this thing, and the class is going to be box left. Okay, now that I've created this div, oh, by the way, the div's got to be in HTML tags. Everybody should know that the left hand and greater than uh, tags work with that. And so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then I'm going to come down here one more, come over, and then I'm going to close the div. So now everything that's inside of there is going to go inside that div. Now I'm going to design, this is going to be a very simple interface that I'm going to design. Um, let's see, I'm going to call this, uh, I'm going to make a little form here. Let's call this that takes in first name and last name. So I'm going to use an H1 tag and say, um, simple form and then close the h1 tag voila okay now I need to make this form ah, it shouldn't be too hard to do um, I'm gonna do this the right way so I'm gonna have a label first so I'm gonna create a label and this is gonna be for and that and, and what I'm gonna do is the label is a label for a text box so I'm gonna have a text box that is gonna be here now I do um, and, and four, by the way, is an attribute. So I'm going to make this a label for text box. I would use TV for the beginning of all my text boxes. First name. And um, then inside that label, I'm going to have first name. And then I'm going to close that label out. So that just, you could just do this with straight text. It doesn't mean I have to have that. But um, remember, I said I'm going to do this the right way. Now, I need a text box. I'm going to do this the right way. Input type equals text box. If you want to know what different types are available, it's easy for you to look up. Just look them up. There's all sorts of different types of inputs. Text box is just one of them. And it needs to have an ID. And that ID will be, well, I said that the label is for TB first name. So let's call it TB first name. And I need one more thing. I can I could put a value in here, but I don't need a value. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And um, I need I need to do the last name, but of course, if you're a master of copy and paste, that is not hard to do. Um, but this is going to be, by the way, last name. So I have to change first to last. 
So last, whoops. And um, so, and this is going to say last. And this last one right here is going to be last. And let's simplify the final piece of this. We need another input because you need a button to submit this. So input. And if you notice, I've actually got one spot where there's an extra um, thing right there, but that's okay. Um, input um, type. Oh, um, oh, type. Okay, I need to have the submit button, and we'll call it submit. That is a type of um, of input. Close that guy out, and voila. And there's my submit button. Oh, I don't like that. Um, that it's over all the way on the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and style this a little bit. Equals. And then now I got to put a styling in there. I'm gonna put margin left and make that um, let's say 20 pixels. And that moves it off a little bit, which looks a little bit better. And oh, you know what? I really would prefer to have that down one more. I'm gonna put a line break in there. So now that actually gives me an extra line in there. I'm gonna actually put two. I think two will look better. There's a line break that looks a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna make sure that we also have a line break after first name. This won't this won't show up any different because I ran out of room anyhow. But there's a nice little line break right there. Let's get rid of that extra greater than and voila! I have a simple form that was written in CSS and HTML. I can make anything that would fit a would be a great interface for a simple form for a uh, for a phone interface. Using my div as my interface boundary, there it is. Hope you enjoyed that. This was for my CEN 3722 class to get them started. They are now ready. Oh, before I stop, I have to do a couple of things. I need to save this. Okay, now, now that I've saved it, um, and I need to save every time I do this, I can take that information right here, okay, and I can come over here and I can show that in a full screen. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. There it is. Okay, so. Um, because, by the way, you're going to have to take your interface designs and share them with other students. Thank you very much. Good programming.